hello guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you how does the gas generator cycle or stage combustion cycle engine work stage combustion cycle or gas generator cycle has been used in many rocket engines and the most famous example is the merlin d engine used in the falcon 9 rocket the basic principle behind it is that you use your own fuel to run the pumps that draw the fuel to run the engine so these are the fuel and oxidizer inlets. These are connected to the tanks which draw the fuel and oxidizer. Both of these go to their respective pumps which have turbines inside them which spin to draw the fuel. The faster these turbines spin, more fuel will be drawn. But initially there is no force to run these pumps. So when the rocket is started, a small motor turns these pumps. Both of the pumps are connected through a shaft. When this shaft turns, both the pumps turn at the same time. The fuel drawn from these turbines are taken to a reservoir. This reservoir determines a small amount of fuel to be given to the pre-burner. If the amount of fuel drawn is lesser than the amount it is going to give to the pre-burner, all the fuel goes to the pre-burner. The pre-burner is a small chamber which is as strong as the combustion chamber of the rocket. Inside this chamber, all the fuel that comes to it is burned under the presence of the oxidizer. The energy produced by it is used to spin the turbine inside this. This turbine is connected to the same shaft as the fuel and the oxidizer pump. So you can use this fuel burnt to turn the turbines inside the fuel and the oxidizer pumps. But there is a problem. When you burn the fuel inside the combustion chamber of the pre-burner, if the burn is an efficient burn, which means there is right amount of oxidizer for the given fuel, it can damage the fuel chamber because it is not that powerful and it can melt. For this, less amount of oxidizer is used so that the combustion is not that efficient. The combustion is not that efficient and not much heat is produced. Because of this, some soot or deposit of combustion of kerosene is produced. It can totally jam the parts of the rocket. That's why it is not used in any further stage and is directly dumped out of the rocket engine. This dumping out is clearly visible in the rockets. As the pre-burner burns the fuel and turns the shaft which turns the turbines, it has the ability to draw more fuel and oxidizer. More fuel and more oxidizer when cross the threshold set by the reservoirs are then turned into the combustion chamber of the rocket. Over here, the fuel is burned at its full capability and efficiency and it goes through the bell nozzle at a high, I mean very high pressure, which provides a lot of thrust to the rocket. This is one of the most simple rocket engine designs and is still used by many companies because of its simplicity and less parts. This is the main reason why SpaceX started using it in its rocket and it is very efficient. In this case, the fuel that is not burned because of lack of oxygen inside the pre-burner is dumped out and is never used. Thanks for watching this video. I hope at the end of this video you know how does the gas generator cycle rocket engine work. 